So as usual, we're here, we're here for Future Stars uh, at Buffalo Wild Wings, which is, uh, we're honored to be here. My friend Dave. Dave, many thanks years, for having us. Years. Yeah, um, yeah. We got a history. Don't say, don't say too many. I, yeah, I just said many. I didn't say too many. <laughs> uh, we're both getting old. We know each other a lot of years. A lot of years. Lot uh, of when, when did uh, Buffalo Wild Wings open here? This one here was 2005. Uh, the, the, uh, the actual first Buffalo Wild Wings in the state of Louisiana. We opened in Slidell uh, at 2001. That's so, the first one I ever went to. That's the very first one. So yeah. the, this one's kind of a, a bumper off of that one. Well, this, this one came after Baton Rouge, so this was our third store. And uh, unfortunately, uh, very wise, very, very brilliant man that started the, the, the franchise passed away uh, three months after we opened this one at my father mom. But uh, we're here we are 20 years later, you know, still, still kicking, still kicking uh, no pun intended. Okay. <laughs> uh, the food's great. I'm, yeah. I'm starving. Yeah. I have to get something to eat. Tom. Yes, and we're going to feed you. Um, I mean, I've been coming here for a lot of years. Yep. It's a lot of fun. Great place to watch any, any type of sport. Anything ball games. we can get on. Yep. Uh, there's been times I've come in this building you couldn't find the seat. Yeah, uh, especially if the Saints were playing or LSU. Yeah, yeah. But uh, whatever your whatever your sport is, your Buffalo Wild is. Wings is the place to go. We we'll come and see. We'll put it on. If it's cricket down in Australia, if we can get it, we'll get it on. And in this day and age, when you got you know other sports ven sports bar venues coming in, Correct. you guys have held the course and, and done your thing. We tried. Um, there's not a whole lot that changes about frying chicken. I'll be honest with you that. But uh, we've been fortunate and blessed enough through the years to be able to stay with the flow of business and with the wants of the of the of the guests and whatnot so being able to do that in such a hard market you're right it's it's uh well it's a testament that you're that you're yeah. still here mm -hmm. so y'all have done it right mm -hmm. uh y'all been community active hosting events like yep. this yep. uh so you, uh, buffalo wild wings gives back to the community which in my opinion that that's what keeps you going yeah yeah we uh we definitely like to we are anytime it uh involves furthering a child's um education or sporting abilities or anything to put them uh further in life and forward in life put us down 110 percent and we really appreciate it and i'm sure these young student athletes do and their folks mm -hmm. and and coaches and whatnot sometimes they don't they don't get a little spotlight put on them and, i tell you uh, what uh they always had a spotlight here so yeah, right here we, at buffalo yeah, wildlands that's right that's right and hopefully we'll be doing this show for many years we to come. will we will and that the uh the, this will get longer and that'll get grayer you know? <laughs> and this will get bigger <laughs> <laughs> I sound like a bowl of Rice Krispies when I get up in the morning. Yeah, it's it's pop pop. Yeah, pop. I heard that, heard that. But uh, we really appreciate it, yeah. Dave. And uh, please come see Buffalo Wild Wings. Great place to watch a ball game. Great food, great service. And they give back to the community and our kids. What? Is he Tommy? He's Tommy. I don't have an earpiece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I heard that wasn't in the budget this it year. It wasn't. Yeah. Uh, we lost a good friend of we ours. We did. We did. A very, very good man. And, uh, very but, good. Man. Butch Lee, uh, the last time I did this show was in, I believe it was in 18. Mm -hmm. uh, Butch was our cameraman mm -hmm. then. Uh, Daryl Smith and I, we did a lot of uh, football games, uh, game of the week for the uh, first for Happy TV and WSTY. Right. And Butch was always our guy. Yeah. Uh, Dog used to call him the immortal one. Yeah. He, I he had, a, he had a knack for coming in and putting Ian in a good mood. He, uh, he, there'd be a day or two he'd come in here and we'd get to try to get stuff rolling. I'd be going crazy with stuff going on and he'd tell me, Dave, it's going to be all right. <laughs> and he would tell me, it's going to be all right. Slow down and it's going to be all right. That sounds just like yeah. it. And I tell you, on all the years I've known him, I may have seen him angry maybe once or yeah. twice. And, that, and, he, and it was one of these things. All right now. Yeah. Like that's about as a hit. And, and, but when it happened, you were like, whoa, <laughs> yeah. Butch is mad. Whoa, that, look that usually doesn't happen. <laughs> But uh, we miss him, and, yeah, and absolutely. we appreciate Dearly. all the work that he did yes. uh, for this area because he, he did filming for the schools and the churches and everything. His, his legend will will live on. It will live on. And uh, so we just want to dedicate this broadcast to Mr. Butch Lee. Mr. Butch Lee. Wherever you are, Butch, we love you. We love you. And that's going to wrap up things here from Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, Future Stars 2022. I keep wanting to say 20 for some reason. Right. But... Uh, Dave, thank you very much. Thank you. Always uh, a pleasure, my friend. Joined by Mr. Tommy Hazelwood, uh, Rio Sandifer, and Mr. Kent. Kurt. K, the K guy. <laughs> uh, well, we just met. So uh, so for us, we'd like to say, my name is Matt Greer. Hopefully we'll see you at the Future Stars 2023 right here at Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.